So folks, Google just rolled out some pretty groundbreaking updates for Google Maps and Earth. And trust me, they're not playing around. These tools have evolved a lot over the years, but this new update adds a level of functionality that's on a whole new level. They've integrated advanced AI into both platforms, boosting their features in ways that were practically impossible before. Now, this update seems to be packed with super useful tools, sharper visuals, and some really cool time travel capabilities that could be a game changer for research, urban planning, virtual exploration, and more. Now, folks, let's see the most impressive part of this update, the time machine feature. Basically, this thing lets users virtually go back in time using historical imagery that spans nearly 80 years in cities like Berlin, London, Paris, and Warsaw. And get this, some of these images date back to the 1930s. What this means is that you can check out what neighborhoods, cities, or even famous landmarks looked like decades ago. For example, you can trace the evolution of San Francisco's waterfront from its gritty shopping hub days to the modern tourist spot it is today. And it's not just about curiosity because it has some serious practical uses like, uh, for instance, researchers, urban planners and environmentalists can now study how urban landscapes, infrastructures and environmental factors have changed over time. And you know, this isn't just limited to just a few major cities because now Google Earth users can also access historical imagery from thousands of locations worldwide. It's now possible to see how environments have changed thanks to human activity, natural disasters, and even climate change. Take California's Lake Oroville as a prime example. With this tool, you can actually see how long-term droughts have impacted water levels over time. Then compare that to more recent images taken after heavy rainfall, and you can really see just how drastic those changes are. I think this makes the time machine feature very valuable for environmental research. But that's not all, guys, because Google has added another standout feature called Time Lapse, which is pretty, pretty cool. And basically, this tool pulls from millions of satellite images to visually map how landscapes have changed over the years. It takes all that data and stitches it together to give you a smooth, clear view of geographic and environmental transformations, from urban sprawl to deforestation and even coastal erosion, time lapse gives you an in depth look at the shifts that have shaped our world. And this goes way beyond just tracking how cities have grown, because, well, for instance, you can watch large scale deforestation happening in the Amazon or see the effects of global warming on the polar ice caps firsthand. Plus, Google's also made big improvements to how we see the present. They've used their Cloud Score Plus AI to enhance satellite imagery in real time. In a nutshell, this AI is trained on millions of images and it clears out the usual obstacles like clouds, mist, haze, and cloud shadows. So what you get is a much sharper and more vibrant view of the Earth without weather interruptions messing with the quality and it allows for a more precise, uninterrupted look at the planet's surface. And here's the best part. This AI upgrade keeps all the key natural details like mountain shadows, ice caps and snow so the image stays as true to reality as possible and this is pretty astounding because Cloud Score Plus doesn't just make the imagery look better, but it makes sure it's precise. For example, if you're analyzing a location for environmental changes, Cloud Cover can hide critical details, but this new AI feature cuts through that, providing consistent and reliable data. It's a massive step up from older versions of Google Earth and Maps, where Cloud Cover often disrupted what you could see. Anyway, folks, alongside these AI-powered upgrades, Google has announced a huge expansion of its Street View service, adding fresh imagery from nearly 80 new countries, and this is one of the largest updates to Street View in years. Basically, now you can dive into new destinations and stunning landscapes that were off the map before. The expansion covers everything from Bosnia's medieval villages to you know, Namibia's sandy mountains and even the Alps, plus more. 
This means users can now explore more remote and lesser known places, bringing those hard to reach spots to people all over the world. And it's not just about capturing the landscape because Google's new 15 pound camera, which can be mounted on almost any vehicle, lets them map locations that are typically off limits to traditional mapping equipment. With this capability, you can now stroll through foreign cities, checking out shops, buildings and historical landmarks in amazing detail. And it offers a way more immersive experience. Now, let's not overlook Google's generative AI integration into Google Maps, folks. This feature is already live in the US and it offers smart AI-generated recommendations based on factors like uh, your budget, location, and even the weather. Basically, the AI curates searches for different categories like nearby restaurants, attractions, and other points of interest, and it works seamlessly with the app's new card-style layout. Once it onboards you to the new functionality, Google Maps can give you personalized suggestions based on detailed parameters, making it so much easier to find exactly what you're after. You know, folks, I guess this AI-powered search isn't just about finding random places to eat. It can narrow down options based on specific preferences like budget or current weather, giving you truly tailored suggestions. For example, if it's pouring with rain outside and you're not sure what to do, Google Maps can recommend indoor activities like playgrounds or museums nearby. It's a super handy feature for those days when you're uncertain about what's open or where to go. Anyway, one of the standout updates is the new UI design in Google Maps because the platform now features a clean card style layout that really boosts the overall user experience. Sure, the changes might seem subtle, but they make a noticeable difference, especially when navigating through the app and everything feels more intuitive and streamlined. So whether you're planning a trip or just looking up local services, the updated design makes it way easier to find what you're after. It's a small tweak, but it seriously improves usability. I think Google's updates to Maps and Earth are pretty impressive. Urban planners, researchers, and environmentalists now have access to detailed historical data, which helps in planning and understanding long-term changes in cities and landscapes. For environmentalists, features like time-lapse and Cloud Score Plus offer crucial insights into ecosystem shifts, aiding conservation efforts and resource management. And that generative AI, it takes daily use to a new level, making recommendations more accurate and satellite imagery sharper. I mean, these AI-powered tools are becoming essential upgrades. And, you know, as AI keeps evolving, we can definitely expect even more exciting advances. Okay, folks, with all that being said, let me know in the comments what you think of these Google Earth and Maps updates. And also let me know if you will be using this new Time Machine version. It looks really, really cool. Subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. Leave a like if you liked. Leave a dislike if you disliked. You know, tell us where we went wrong. And, well, guys, you already know what I'm going to say at this point. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.